Foul acts of grubbery led us to great success, some easy profits and knowledge of more. But just as we had been blessed with loot, we were burdened with the obligation to obtain the rest. Long into the night and later the next day, Jumpy and I worked to set everything into place to raid the remnants of the base that we had seen as early as possible. Time was of the essence. We knew we wouldn't be the only ones. The following day, we moved our imported loot from the humble 2x1 in the desert over to a more permanent location and spent our time farming up the last of the supplies we needed while planning our next move. Thankfully, we already had plenty of dragon powder, we just needed everything else. I need to build a grindstone, which now for some reason takes bricks. Yeah, fluid presses are like more expensive now too. Look at the grinder be. and tell me where the bricks go in that fucking design. Someone explain that to me. What's what's the main apparatus made out of if not brick? You'd make it out of stone. You wouldn't like lay bricks into a circular formation and then put a handle on it like some kind of fruit bat. <laughs> That's not how grindstones work. I'll defer to your expertise on grindstones. I'm an expert on grinding. I've been playing Conan for five years. <laughs> I know a thing or two about grind. <laughs> Dagon's Embrace. Hey, is this your spot? Is this your pad? <laughs> nope. That's not even mine. That little shack on the side there? There's a couple little oh. shacks over there. No, I mean the dock is called Dagon's Embrace. I legitimately forgot I named myself Dagon here. <laughs> Dagon, sorry. Forgot we made some nice fucking gains yesterday. <laughs> yeah, huge fucking gains. I mean, we got our whole bomb factory all in one. We got yeah, all our yeah. alchemists, our tanner, and our smelter. <laughs> <laughs> we made humongous gains yesterday, and today we're gonna get the rest of those gains. And then we're just fucking cruising. Dude, I am so excited for what's in those boxes. I've been, I dreamt about it a little bit. Just chest full of loot. That's why, that's why we play Conan, dude. All that sick loot. Hey, that's not your narrative. You need to watch what you say. Right? I know you're right. We're here to dispense justice and fight alphas. <laughs> Anyways, that loot's Get loot, bitch! <laughs> loot! The loot, Jumpy! <laughs> I've been lying the whole time, you it little It was fuckers. all a lie. I'm here for those precious pixels. Oh, yeah, and I'm making a fast elevator, like, ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna zoom up and down that bitch. I still think they should have just made elevators faster. Like I don't see why. I don't see why we had to be stingy with it and make you grind for it. The nudity is why the uh, the checks at the end of the upload take so fucking long. It tries to scan every frame of the video to make sure you didn't slip some porn in there. Interesting. So when you have a bunch of naked cavemen running around the map, it's uh. Is this porn? Well, oh, this is just casual nudity. Thank you for noticing. Witnessing my girth. <laughs> Not much. Not much girth. <laughs> Not much of anything, really. I put my slider all the way to the minimum. That way all the testosterone goes to my brain. That's science, Jumpy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you know where testosterone's made. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, see, because it's like... Uh, it's all on all on all the balls. So like you shrink the, the dick. Squeeze all that mass into the testicles. I mean it looks like it's it makes the balls smaller on this game too. Wait a minute. I put a bomb on this map room and it's not. It's I guess because it's fully decayed, maybe it doesn't do it. No I have ten hours to use this map room. At least it's still gonna be here for this trip at least, but which map room? Uh, the one by the Amir dungeon. Uh, well, we'll just make our own. God damn, Jumpy, these fucking star metal nodes are gonna kill me. One of these fucking days, Jumpy, I'm gonna lose it. You're gonna hear about it in the news. It's because I went up for star metal, and for the 35th time in a row, every node was bugged. You repeated the same statement time and again. The star metal. The, the star metal, Jumby. The nodes never break. 
So we've got... Yeah, I, I don't think there are any eggs here, I think. I think like, you're lying, you Jim. Money. I think you're missing I think it. money. I know what these look like. I'm a gossamer expert. <laughs> gossamer specialist? I'm just gonna fucking port over to the sinkhole where I know they are. I literally just did like five laps around that whole area. It's not a single egg. They're just like, hmm, let's just throw some spiders here, but they're not going to reproduce. They're asexual fucking spiders, Kronk. <laughs> you know, I've heard that some people that work at Funcom watch my videos, so let's let's take this as an opportunity to tell whoever that is. Pass it on. We need more spider eggs. Specifically in the northeast jungle. Specifically Wait, right where Jumby's north, at. North Northwest jungle. Northwest, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't do directions good. Northwest. I wonder if Chrono has steel reinforcement. We need this raid. Damn it! <laughs> crap all this shit. I always forget how much shit you need for a raid until it comes time to raid, and then you're, you know, it's seven hours of raid prep. I don't even have a fucking skinny knife, dude. We are just slumming it. I'm gonna have to smack an elephant with a fucking pickaxe. <laughs> You're at that stage of the game, Jubby. All right, I gotta calculate. Wait, rock nose don't get demon blood, right? Uh, not unless they're demon rock noses. Do you like? It's a rock with green eyes. That, that looks pretty demonic. See, it to seems me. pretty demonic, but no. Honestly, most of the wildlife on this fucking map strikes me as overtly demonic. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. You have a bias because they like to rape you to death. They do. They 100% do, Jumby. My, sp my spanker is not closed properly since I installed this stupid game. A few minutes later. I like how if you roll after getting stunned. Oh my god, I'm getting stun locked by these fucking spiders. Stop! Ugh. I might actually die here. They nerfed the hyper armor on the greatsword. For some fucking reason. So I was having trouble even starting my combo. And the spiders attack so fast now, Jump. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone's ever asked for a fucking spider buff. That's one thing you want to add to the game. Oh, I want the spiders to be more difficult. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, we can do that. I would I, like to be I've further never heard that by the most Never heard that before. You, you know, you're not actually hearing it now. This is a hallucination. So I'm gonna go with it anyway. <laughs> Just one Funcom developer in the closet talking to himself. <laughs> I, I I hear you, Exile. I hear you. I'll, I'll buff them for you. Yeah, I like to live dangerously. Oh, this tiger doesn't have shit on me now. Now you're not jumping me from behind in the dark, little fucker. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. How's that feel? Probably not great. Probably can't feel much, because you're fucking dead! Call him Jumby. Let it all out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's another 33 demon blood. Oh, sorry, little elephant calf. I always feel bad doing this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> sorry, little buddy, but times are tough. You didn't even give me- you just gave me normal hide. Now I feel even worse. <laughs> How do you feel now, Jumbo, you fucking monster? You killed that baby for nothing. I know, I feel horrible. <laughs> Ooh, Knights of Neat killed someone in the wild. Our narrative is building. Ooh. This server tyrannized. Terrorized? Terrorized. Terror terrorized by Toxic Alpha, the Knights of Knee, hard cut to their sandstone cube. Their unassailable <laughs> alpha base. <laughs> Looms on the horizon. I don't even remember that guy. So that might be a fifth one. Hmm. So we may be quite outnumbered tonight. Oh, did you, uh. Did you make my mistake? You make the star metal skinny knife in the wrong one? I didn't even think of it, so I'm gonna assume yes. Although we did move the blacksmith at some point. I think I had the durability one and the upgraded one, and then, uh... We did, I, but I... I told you, Kronk. No, I made this kind of like before that, though. This was oh, before okay. things were switched. If it is, I don't regret a thing, Jumby. 
<laughs> That's my response to that. As I expect. If we need to hold doors. Fancy meeting you I... here. Hello. These dancers are bugs, so I had to spy here for like an hour. Jesus. Shit, we do, Jimmy. <laughs> Believable. Of course, half the time these dancers are hostile if somebody's thralling in the area. They have to like sit on the wall like a pervert and watch him. <laughs> Corruption goes away. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling these guys didn't forget about the, the, the chest. I'm having more and more of a feeling about that. I'm almost certain they're going to be there tonight. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really assuming it. I don't have time for them to be here tonight. I have like, once raid time window starts, I have like 20 minutes on the clock. Is this fucking raid? Why is it at six, dude? Jumpy and I did our best to scrounge up enough gear and supplies to go on our raid, a task made difficult by our time constraints. Worse still, as the day went on, we learnt of a few additional problems. Firstly, that Jumpy had forgotten about a real-world obligation that would force him to leave no later than 20 minutes into the raid window, from which point I'd be on my own. Additionally, we learned that the Knights of Knee likely had more than five members and a few enemies of their own that might chase them into our raid, meaning that we, and later I alone, would be greatly outnumbered. With the faded hour fast approaching, we set out to scout the base while it was still safe, and to formulate a plan. Here's what we came up with. Knowing time was of the essence, we'd set up inside the base before the raid window to ensure that we had control of the base and as much time as possible to blow up what we could. The thralls inside were a serious hindrance to our enemies the night before, so we planned to lure them to the bottom floor and bomb out the staircase leading up trapping them to set up a kill floor to protect us while we held the one entryway to the second floor. This way, counter raiders would have to fight past the thralls and also somehow climb past us, which would be functionally impossible, force them to blast another way in. While one of us would hold the door, the other would be furiously bombing chests and using the map room inside the base to shuttle out loot to a series of drop falls that we placed by the dead mounds, since there was already a map room there that we could use to get back. Though we had been efficient with our raid preparations and had a little bit of sip to gear, we still only had one set of gear each, no buffs, no anti-venoms, and our armor wasn't crafted by an armor thrall either, so we really couldn't afford to fight anybody head on. Our main goal was to loot as much as possible, as quickly as possible, and to get out. Alright. Okay, let's uh, move. Use the map room, port to the black heap. Yep. Black keep. Then we jog over and sit there and sweat for 30 straight minutes. Perfect. Wonderful, beautiful. The Conan experience. Feel pretty prepared overall. I mean, for a grub raid? Yeah, I mean, Dragonhide armor, Silent Legion, Feroxic weapons. There have been far grubbier raids in this game's history. I hate having this much dragon powder in my pockets. I hate That's it. It's very uncomfortable. Especially knowing that our base is like a two bomb raid. Somebody kills us and they could raid us 50 times over. Clear so far. Imagine they don't come back. They're all that fighting the other day. What's that, that? Is that you? That's Someone. not. That's somebody else. Oh, they're here. It's one of them. Yep. So it begins. Do you want me to put the dragon okay. powder back now? So I'm sure there's gonna be more than him. Mm. I could leave it at the mounds and then warp back when the time comes. No, I th I say we just we just risk it. Once we get the thralls down there, oh fuck, <laughs> they're gonna zerg the fuck out of us too. We're gonna get <laughs> swamped. <sighs> God damn it! All right, how about you go? How about you go dump half of it? Dump what you don't have. The thing. that's all or nothing, Jumby. I'm not gonna carry some of it. Yeah, bring a hundred. Oh, here they come. There's one. I'll just let you stab it. I don't want her to, want to get you with it. It's just the one guy. Just scouting. Can't hit him. 
It's tricky when they're naked, dude. They're they can be crafty. Twenty two minutes. Wait, we have twenty minutes. Do we need to make any changes? Nothing I can think of. We're as prepped as we could have been with the time we had, so we're just gonna have to make it work. Got the natural jitters from uh the potential two V six raid <laughs> in an enemy base. Yeah. At least we have a really good escape in yeah. that room. Not even like a prepped raid with a raid base or anything, but literally just like deep inside an enemy base surrounded by enemy thralls and enemy players soon. Yeah. Like literally <laughs> the most scuffed raid. Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. We've never let the odds stop us before. Uh -uh. Okay, we just need this shit to start so we can confirm our yeah. victory. Like, <laughs> if they all roll in six deep at like 557, we're in a lot of shit. Yeah, we're in some deep trouble. That's why I'm staying up here. If they roll in as a fucking wad, I need to get out of here. Look at this chrono guy, dude. He's a salesman. Oh, yeah, look at him. <laughs> Want to get ahead? What about a steel pickaxe? <laughs> what about hardened steel tools? I'll make you a deal. Gosh, an honest to God salesman in the exiled lands. Kind of impressed. Someone's coming in. With gear. And a thrall. And buffs. It's just one? Just one. He walked in and walked out. He just checked to see if I was here. So you gotta do this, like, perfectly. There we go. Pat him down. Yeah, got the one upstairs. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Yeah, Good. they're down here. You gotta come blow it. The naked one's coming. Hold on. It blow it? It's blowing. I might just trap myself out here. These stairs not broken yet. But leave it to the, the bomb mechanics to not work properly. Oh, they're chasing you still. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. I got them running in circles. Just do it. Okay, good. Got it. So we just gotta get up there now. Just keep them on you. Fucking fire needs to go away. Yeah. I made it, I made it. Okay, I'm gonna cut him back. Okay, I'm gonna put two more bombs down there. You're gonna have to set them off. That'll get the other stairs. Okay. I'm going up. Okay, they're. Got speed they're checking. Okay, stairs are down. You just start doing your thing up there. I'm gonna jumpy. I'm gonna. Oh. Why did this thrall just trigger? There's a thrall coming upstairs, the one that was in here. Just triggered. So you're gonna have the. How did he get up there? Him. Yeah, there's a thrall up here too. Yeah, he hadn't triggered. He was on this floor with the map room. Maybe I can bleed him. That's gonna take a long time. I'll drag him downstairs. Okay. At least I'll try here. I think they're teleporting upstairs. Just kind of annoying. Are there, are there more up there? Yeah. Uh, we could try to kill some of these. Just kidding, there's like seven of them. I might actually die here. Yeah, I lagged into them. I can't get out. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck You're okay. Off. You're okay. You're okay. I'm not okay. I'm gonna poison to death. Fuck! Come on, game! God damn. Of course they would just teleport through the fucking floor. Three bombs down. They're right under you. Careful. They might trigger him. I would get up on the one over there. Yeah, I'm trying the to. There you go. Okay, we're safe for now. For now. <laughs> you can go, trigger. Okay. I hope I don't die from here. Ooh. That hurt. 
Did you live? Dead. Yeah. Are the stairs broken? I can't tell. I think so. Got like a normal spear. Oh, this guy's not leveled. Okay. So oh, he's got priority on me because I lag like a motherfucker. It's life. Gonna be done in a sec. All right, we did it. Okay, here, take the bombs back. All right. Start popping. I'm watching the. Back to work. I think maybe the ones right in front of the furnace are gonna be good. But let's get the alchemy ones for sure. Yeah. Now, the explosive, the explosive damage is so buggy. But these, this blue look. There's a lot of building resources. Kind of all random shitter ones. The median fence foundation. It's like 170 of them. Looks like mostly thrall loot in these ones. Or thrall key, or rather. I got like five minutes till I gotta leave. Okay. So nothing so far. Nothing good. Nothing worth being. Nothing worth taking. Good invisible loot. Ooh, hundreds of water skins. Cool. Uh, like eight thousand. Or not eight thousand. Two thousand alchemical base. That's kind of big. Okay. I can't really carry most of this. I guess I'll just be encumbered for the rest of this raid. If I need to, yeah, I can drop I think stuff. that's probably, probably the best idea. Black blood pick. Well, dying pickaxe. Extra vault, I'll take that. You can Grab use. the jars, there's two little bags over here. Uh, oh my god, look at the insulated wood in here. There's like... Like a... Hundred thousand of that shit. I can't, I can't hold anything more. It's okay, I grabbed just, it. You just gotta fill. Okay. Just checking all these bags, make sure we're not gonna miss something big. Yeah. We should have enough bombs for all this. I grabbed a couple, I have two thralls. Have you gotten thralls yet? No. Oh, there goes the ceiling. Thankfully that's not very easy to climb into. Not breaking these damn boxes. And an extra vault for good luck. Okay. I gotta identify. Ooh, that's a lot of. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna take all that. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, wait. Which one is. Help me identify this so I don't. There's dragon bone and insulated wood in here. Let me ask I really have to here. go. No, I know. Which we'll one? One little bit. Drop it for you. Okay. And this shaped wood. You have it. Oh, yeah. Did you grab that tar? Could you drop that? I made it. Shit. Already super left. worth. Yeah. It's crazy. I can't even process it yet because I gotta go. But I think you're gonna get a lot more. Yeah. It's a lot of wealth in there. Oh, I'm walking to this vault. Come on. Sadly, Jumpy had to leave, but we had made good use of his time, as he managed to stash just about everything we had gotten so far at our drop site. We had a slight hiccup with our thrall trapping plan, but we quickly recovered and trapped them on the second floor instead. So far, so good. I'm gonna go die around this rock. Good luck, let me know, I'll be back in about right. an hour. Luck on your game. Good, good shit, we, we pulled it out. We got the profit confirmed though, That's we can breathe easy. Yeah. Yep. Alright, bye. Some of the loot's dropping. I, I just gotta leave it. If I go down there and die, then the raid's over. I have to just leave it. Oh, that's a person. I gotta go. I gotta stash. Oh, 
<sighs> that definitely looked like one of them came in. There's bodies everywhere out here. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, there's more bodies in here. Another one by the map room. Well, at least the thralls are doing their job. Uh, I was kind of worried that all that uh, that headache was for nothing. I think the coast is clear. So we're just going to get back to it. I think they all died to the thralls. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on! I slipped up. The fact that it just despawned is icing on the shit cake. I'm a little skeeved out about all these comments about cheaters, though. It's got me nervous. What is this? I don't know what's going on out there. That's none of my business. I've got shit to do. Nope. <laughs> Who are these people? Is it not showing nameplates because I've got streamer mode on? I saw one of them. Like, I scope you or something? Oh, quick, get on the horse. He's naked. Why is everybody who plays this game a shitter? Nope. 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 <laughs> Get dodged. <laughs> Got nothing to lose. The loot's all safe. Let's just fucking... Let's get in there. Carefully. <laughs> Carefully. I don't think anyone got my body, but I don't know if I'm going to get it either at this rate. Oh, not again. I saw what did it. It was the fucking... There's a panther head on the wall, and if you touch it, it slides you right off. <sighs> okay, but we're good. We made it. I kind of want to risk it. I said there was building materials in these boxes. Ugh. Oh! I've got to get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. <sighs> no way. No way. They caught. Oh, Jumpy's gonna love to hear that. Jumpy's gonna lose it. <laughs> There's no way. Did he... Did they catch fucking... Uh, what's their name? Knights of Knee with 100 bombs? Because they didn't catch me with 100 bombs. I've got all of my bombs right here. I went back to the base to blast the few remaining chests left behind while I pieced together what actually happened that night. If you feel a little confused about what was going on, I was too at the time, so let me explain. The Knights of Knee had been scouting out the base with the intention of raiding it, just like us. Only they weren't as quick as we were, and lagged behind just enough to put them on a collision course with an entirely different group of counter raiders. Namely, the guys that ganked me while I was running back naked. And suddenly it made sense why there were bodies all over the place, but nobody inside contesting the loot despite being scouted for a solid 30 minutes beforehand. They were all so busy fighting each other outside, nobody could make it inside, and the few that did, died to the Thrall Trap. The icing on the cake? Because I was naked when I was killed, and Knights of Knee were the ones caught with dragon powder, everybody accused them of being the raiders, both this night and the night before. Meanwhile, in reality, it was Jumby and I who had been looting the base the whole time. Essentially, we took all the profits, while another clan took the heat, and nobody was any the wiser. And since nobody suspected us of having the loot, 
Nobody came to take it from us, and we were free to revel in our ill-gotten gains. A rather lubricious raid, if I do say so myself. But the people who showed up to raid the base was the Knights who say knee. But they got killed by a different group outside the base, who hates them, and they lost like a hundred dragon powder for it. And now everybody on the server thinks it's the Knights who say knee who raided the base. So nobody even <laughs> knows we were in there. It's like the, the perfect amazing. crime. We literally, we we cleaned out the whole base and nobody even knows we were involved. Yeah, that couldn't have played out more perfectly. It's perfect. Like, we have no heat coming to us because nobody even knows we were there. We, we're just a couple of grubs as far as anyone knows. Their main was practically empty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're trying to figure out who did it. The vaults were all empty. What did I fucking tell you? <laughs> so funny oh my god jumby that's the most perfect of days jumby uh-huh probably moved or despawned most since only enigma was logged on to refresh base <laughs> they have no idea no one has a fucking clue the only reason they raided it at all did you catch the dagon guy with all its explosives uh oh look okay someone's on to you uh oh uh oh but we killed him Maybe they do know. Get nothing. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Get nothing. Oh, you got so lucky. They killed you <gasps> when you were running naked. Holy shit. And that's pretty much it for this playthrough. We had used the resources we gained to begin constructing a monstrous base, but our initial assessment of the server held true. It was mostly noobs. The only clan that we had even thought of raiding was the Knights Say Ni, and only really because they had gotten some loot out of the base when we were first grubbing it, not because they had done anything to us. But after grubbing them to death the day before and getting counter-raided hard the day after, they understandably took their leave. So without any other targets at the time of our playthrough, the rest of the server was filled with friendly, newer players. And it's not really jumpy and ice thing to go around raiding noobs. Additionally, I was still pretty burnt out after that last playthrough. I know I joke about taking 8 month breaks between playthroughs, but I really do need to rest between longer playthroughs. And since we were packing up our things anyways, I took it as an opportunity to take a much needed rest. Using our spare sigils of the drowned, we were able to pack up almost everything we had of value that we had obtained on the server. Over 10 archpriests, hundreds of favor, a full spread of upgraded benches, all the crafters we'd ever need, and so on and so forth. So at least when we did decide to play for real, we'd have a pretty decent starter kit. Thanks for watching, guys.